Hello and welcome back to Cadvent 2024. It is day 12. We are halfway to Christmas. This is my Cadvent series where we are doing 24 days of designing something in Autodesk Fusion in the lead up to Christmas throughout Advent this year. And for day 12, we are designing a snowman decoration that you could also maybe use as a larger keyring if you wanted to. So let's jump into Fusion and get started. So we are going to start off with a sketch on the XZ plane, and this is going to be for a revolve for the snowman. So starting off with a circle, and that's going to be a diameter of 30 millimeters. I'm then going to create a second circle, so just hovering above that center point, and that one is going to be 20 millimeters. I want to add a horizontal and vertical constraint to make sure that stays in line. And then I'm going to add in a dimension center to center dimension of those two of 20 millimeters. I'm then going to add in a line down here at the bottom, making sure it is horizontal, so that horizontal constraint snaps there, and dimensioning that down here as 14 millimeters. I'm then going to add in a line at the top, and this is going to be for the hat section. So bringing that out beyond the um, edge of the snowman and back in there. So I'm going to dimension this small line as 1.2, and then this line as eight millimeters there. Now I'm going to add a line down the center of the snowman. So I want this to be right from the bottom all the way up to the top. And I want to make sure that is coincident with the origin there. And you'll see that turns black there. Now I just want to snap those two lines to that there. And then finally add a dimension from the origin up here. And that one is going to be 28 millimeters. You just wanna check that all your lines have turned black before clicking finish sketch. And then going to create a revolve. So grabbing these uh, five profiles and the axis I want to do that around is the Z axis. So you can either select that center axis you did, but if you press and hold, you can select the Z axis. And I want that to be a full 360 revolution there. I'm then going to create an offset plane from here. And this is going to be minus 16 millimeters out. So you can see that's outside of the snowman there. Creating a sketch on that offset construction plane that I've done, I'm going to start adding in the coal for the buttons. Um, so these are going to be a diameter of four millimeters. So I'm just gonna add in three circles there, um, one above, one below. Um, and then I'm going to use shift on my keyboard to select all three centers and use the horizontal and vertical constraint. Adding in a dimension from here to here as six millimeters, and then a second dimension from here to here. And I'm just gonna click on the first dimension that I entered. So if I were to update the first one, then the second one would also update. Some neat tricks that you can use there. Now for the face, for the coal that I want to do the face, I'm going to add a circle, and this is going to be a construction line. So I want to use this um, for reference. And the diameter of that is going to be 10 millimeters there. And again, I want to make sure that's in line. So using a horizontal and vertical constraint to the origin. The distance of that one is going to be uh, 22 millimeters up. And you can see that the line has turned black there. I'm then going to create some more circles, making sure I turn off construction, starting around here, and these are going to be two millimeters. Now, rather than adding them all individually, I'm going to use a circular pattern. So grab that one around that point that I've created there. And I want five of these, but I don't want a full rotation of these. So I probably want something about 140, 135. And to make sure these are sort of center aligned, again, I'm going to use that horizontal and vertical constraint for that middle one. And you can see that they all turn black there. I'm going to add in a few lumps of coal for the eyes. So these are going to be four millimeter diameter and you can just position these where you want them, um, which looks good for your um, eyes there. And the final thing to do is to add in the carrot nose. And I'm going to use the spline tool to do this. So with the spline tool, you don't want too many points. Um, it, you just kind of want to add enough to be able to give you control over what you want to do. And I'm going to add, join those back up to create a fully defined um, 
a fully constrained center circle there. And I'm just gonna move those around until it's kind of the carrot shape that I want it to be. So sort of want it a bit pointy at this side and then more of a kind of open end um, sort of carrot shape there and then click finish sketch. I'm then going to use the emboss tool here. So I'm going to click emboss and I'm going to do the three call buttons first and select the face. Now I actually want this to be a deboss. Um, you could do an emboss if you want, but I'm gonna do a deboss. And the distance I'm going to do is minus 0.5 millimeters there. So selecting that face and you'll see that they go into the snowman there. Doing that again, so adding another deboss. You have to do these as separate operations because I want to use a different face for each one. So just view my sketch there and I want to do all of the coal around the mouth, the smile and the eyes. And the face I'm going to select there is this one. And again, I want to do that as a deboss, so minus 0.5 millimeters there. You can see they um, go into there. Now for the carrot, I actually want this one to stick out, just give it a slightly different effect. So I'm going to select that face and the distance is going to be um, one millimeter or 0.5 um, with that. So I'll go with one millimeter and see how that looks there. And then I'm just going to add some fillets to um, that uh, sort of nose around there. And they're going to be uh, 0.1 or 0.2, um, 0.15. 0.15, there we go. And just kind of gives it a little bit of a round shape. So we're starting to see the snowman take shape here. Now I want to create the sort of top hat bit of the snowman. So I'm going to create a sketch and do that on the top surface. Doing a circle from the center and that's going to be 11 millimeters. Um, and then we can finish that sketch and extrude that up and six millimeters looks like a good um, option there. Now, if you just wanted this as a snowman ornament, so to sit on a shelf or something, you could finish your item there. Now, if you want to add in a hook to create this into a key ring or to hang on your Christmas tree, then follow along for the next bit. So I'm going to create a sketch on the plane here. I'm going to create a circle. So the first one is going to be a diameter of eight. And then I'm going to do a concentric circle. So on the inside, a diameter of four. And I want this circle to be tangent to this line here. So using the tangent constraint, I'm going to grab that one there. And then again, the horizontal and vertical constraint around the origin. And you'll see that the circle turns black. So we know it's constrained. I'm going to use an arc, a three point arc. So from that purple um, line there, up to the circle and make sure that gives me a tangent constraint when I snap that there. And then just to finally fully define this sketch, I'm going to select those three points, so the center of the circle and those tangent arcs and click horizontal and vertical constraint. I'm going to create an extrude, so selecting these profiles. I want my extrude to be symmetrical and I want my whole distance, so you can either do half distance or whole length. I want that to be two millimeters and I want to join that. Now that's looking pretty good, but if I zoom in, I can see that there's these sections here that are overhanging from the circle. So I can create an extrude and just select those profiles there on both sides of the top hat zooming in to grab them. And I want to just do an extruded cut upwards. So just drag that up and it will cut those off. Finally, just to make this look a little bit neater, I'm going to add in a fillet here and here, and that's going to be a two millimeter size fillet, just to give that rounded top hat section there. So there we go, that's the snowman. You can export your STL file to print it here. I'm gonna add a couple of appearances in to make it look a little bit better. So I'm gonna start off with black, um, and I'll show you why start off with black, just to make it a bit better, uh, easier to do. So starting off with black, I'm going to choose a black plastic. I'm going to do matte, and I'm going to apply that to the whole body. And then going to search for a white. So I'm probably gonna do the white plastic mat. And I want to change the option to apply to faces. And I'll just bring that in and apply it to the faces of the snowman there. So that has meant I've not had to select all of these individual faces for the black um, with that. And then you might add in red or you could create a custom um, material. So if we add red plastic mat, um, I'll download that one. 
I'm going to add that to my favorites. Um, so I'll just apply it to the nose so that I can create an edit. So um, I'm going to right click and duplicate that. I'm then going to edit it. And I want to call this orange because I'd like an orange carrot um, for mine. So you can edit the materials that already exist and you can just drag that until you've kind of got the color that you would like to do. Um, dragging that out to the um, carrot, I'm going to apply it to those four faces there um, to create a carrot effect on the snowman. So there we go. There is a um, little snowman decoration that you can 3D print. If you've got a multicolor printer, you can print this in multicolors to match that. If not, you can always just print it in one color and it'll still look good on your tree or mantelpiece. If you've got any questions, please do post them in the comments below. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up and um, let me know what you would like me to do for the rest of Cadvent. We're halfway there to Christmas. I'll see you in the next video.